Alright, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to buy a lot of the stuff that you end up selling, in my case on Tuesdays. Uh, I have gotten some feedback about it and for the most part uh, people think that a large part of the auctions is buying stuff. And while it is, the, the methods that I use and the methods that a lot of the other people use are pretty standard. So I'm just going to go over some of them here. Alright, um, because I only sell one time a week, uh, the supply that I need is a lot less than someone else may need if they're, if they're putting auctions up every day. So what I really do is whenever I'm looking on the auction house or anything, I do, I spend a, a few seconds to check the Cardinal Rubies. You know, there's nothing really there. What we're really looking for here is something with a reasonably high buyout, with a low bid. And I check just every time I need to check the auction house. You see here I have two bids on, uh, on dreadstones. I already have a lot of dreadstones, but you want a casual approach to buying gems. You don't want to actively purchase a bunch at the same time just because you feel the need to. You only want to buy them when they're a good price. I generally spend about a hundred gold per gem. I go as high as a 120 if, if I kind of want it. You see these over here, they have a bid of 118. That's, that's a pretty low bid. And because those, those are pretty far down from the cheapest ones, those would probably be one on a bid. So, it's a good way to get some of them. Check, uh, check each of the gems in this way. The eyes are pretty low. You see I bid one there for 100 gold. It's the, uh, it's the sixth one down, so I mean fifth one. It's probably not going to sell for a buyout, so I'll probably get that one. And it's good to check on on titanium as well. Uh, titanium is going to get you a lot of the gems that you need. And that really all, all there is to it. Um, I do have a couple people that send me gems through the mail. Um, just regularly every now and then, you know, two or three gems at a time. Generally, when you when you purchase uh, epic gems from from someone from trade chat, let's say, or from a friend, you want to let them know that you're going to be buying them for a while, and if they get any more, you can purchase them with a COD function. So that's that's going to get you uh, a little bit of a steady stream of of gems.